Hello guys and welcome to my channel, this is Alex. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this awesome looking pros and cons, like 10 beasts, by using two methods. And actually the first method is the method that I do not recommend to use, which is using this plugin which this guy is using. And at the end it looks like this, and it has this weird icons and doesn't look like on the 10 beasts website. So I'm gonna pull this favicons from his website and replace it and use it on this plugin and the plugin is called e2 pros and cons you can add it by clicking on add new but for now this plugin is not for use i repeat you should not use this plugin because it f it is full of bugs for now as it is today the 30 30th january and I do not recommend it that if you that you use it until they update the plugin. So activate it and then start using it. I'm gonna head over to posts and then I'm gonna create a new post just for the sake of this tutorial. And I'm gonna click here, click on the list little plus sign and type E2 pros and cons easily. And now for the how to use it, click on enter pros and cons. You cannot enter. For example, click here on the plugin. I cannot do anything because this add-on is full of bag bugs. And it is not adding the bug just on this post. It makes your entire WordPress website uh, unusable. So I will need to redo it again for this tutorial until they fix this. It might work a month from this I hopefully hopefully they will do it and I'm gonna add the pros you add it by just writing text and then clicking enter to write in another line and it has it adds this little uh, thumbs up icons which look horrible in my eyes compared to the one that 10 beasts will use which is a check check mark and a ban icon I'm gonna click on enter cons and do the same thing write something really stupid and then to change the icons type fa fa check just like this and as you can see the add-on has not had any bugs right now because you can still use it if you delete it and then redo it if you see that it is a buggy and that you cannot enter it the thing that you will need to do is just click on this and remove it I'm gonna publish it I'm gonna set it on private because I don't want everyone to see it and then I'm gonna view the post and this is how it looks like it looks awesome if you ask me but the only thing that I don't like is that the plugin is unusable. What am I talking? If I edit this post, you will see some bugs right now at the beginning. See? I did I, I did not click on anything. It highlights everything in blue. Even though I didn't do anything. For example, if I click here, you can see it moves from block to the document. Just like that. I cannot enter the document. And to fix this, easily head over to plugins and then find the E2 plugin, which is called E2 pros and cons. And they deactivate it. Then restart your cache. It should be removed from here. If you saw it, it should be gone by now. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. As you can see, I can use the document section on here. And also I can do anything by not having any problem. So I'm gonna teach you how which method I'm using for here, which is a little bit more annoying to do, but it is working. And this is what I did. I head over to 10 Beasts website and then I right click and then inspect it on it. And then when I found the pros and cons, I copied the entire CSS and HTML code and that's how I got 
it to work. So this is one of the pros and cons code. It is really long and you do not have to edit all of this. You ha just have to edit uh, the text which is inside here, inside this little brackets, li brackets. You can see this is one opened bracket and this is a closed bracket. A closed bracket has this little sign here, so it's closed. So if you want to add a new pros and cons, just copy it here or here. For example, click on Ctrl C, then I'm gonna click enter and then I'm gonna add, start adding new. If you want to delete one, you just delete it like this. So I'm gonna change the text here. Actually, I'm not gonna change it because it is inside of here. It will ruin my code. But for example, if I use this post, if I head over to posts one more time and use this old post, I'm gonna check if the E2 pros and cons is gone. So if you have to double check it because it will not work if you don't check it. Unless you see that it isn't working. I'm gonna click on little plus sign. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna click on little plus sign and gonna add shortcodes, shortcode. And here you write your shortcode. And this is a plugin. If you're wondering what I'm using, the plugin is called Shortcode Ultimate and you can download it for free. But I don't want to cut this tutorial. I mean, I don't want to longer this tutorial and use it and make it like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna skip that part by showing how to install it and now I'm gonna copy this which will which I will leave in the description and then I'm gonna paste it here I'm gonna update it and then preview the post and as you can see it looks completely awesome just like on 10 beast website and on the other thing which is awesome is that this is fully responsive so for the first product so if I create it like this, first product, first best product list, let's imagine this is a best list and I'm gonna type here second best product and I'm gonna type here third best product and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write free best products list and I'm gonna make it H2 this one I will make H3 and this one I will make H3 as well and this one H3 as well and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this code from here which is not the same code this code is shorter and by far and this is why we're using it because if you use this first code on one post it will apply to all of the best products con pros and cons so this is what I'm talking about if I use the shortcode plugin and paste it here and update it it will look the same even if I do not use the CSS and JavaScript code from this here. So if I delete it, the first product which has all of the CSS codes and all of the JavaScript code and if I update it and then refresh it, you will see that it is uh, messed up. So my recommendation is that you will need to have one code which is really long and the longer version which has all of the CSS and JavaScript code so I'm gonna copy it again and paste it and update it and it should work but for the second product you can use this short code not the plugin but actually the shorter code and it should work fine so on all of your products which is not the first product, I repeat, you should use the shorter code. So if you use 
uh, the shorter code and not all of the longer codes on all of your uh, pros and cons best products it will make your website run faster than if you would use all of this code which is copied from 10 beasts website and then used to my website and it should work perfectly fine for you if you use it on one product it will not run your web uh, slow down your website but if you use it on 10 products or 20 products this enormous code I, I I seriously doubt that your website will run fast. It will run like an old fart. And then if I update it and see how it looks like, it looks like this. And if I delete the first product with this code and then update it and then refresh, you will see that it looks messed up as it is. And if I get it back, the longer code, and then update, and then refresh, it will look like this. It is awesome, if you ask me. But if you delete the second product, and the third one, I mean, second and third pros and cons, and then update it, you will see that it will work also perfectly fine. So you can use all of this entire code on all of your pros and cons, but it will slow down your website and also you can use the second this little uh, shorter codes on all of your products except one one has to have this long code uh, this long code and my recommendation is that you use it on the first product so changing the text I mean changing the text on pros and cons is completely easy like I told you so this is what you have to do just head over inside of the lead text. This is, if you see FA, FA ban, that's the cons. So you just change it inside of here and you will have it like this. So if I re refresh it, this is for the second product. If I refresh it, I will see that it changed. But if I want to add more of these, I just copy it inside of LI shortcode. This is the beginning, LI, and this is the end of the LI, like I told you. If I paste it, I will create a little bit more, 4 or 5, and then update it, and this will look like this. But if you want to remove, to remove it, for example, for example here, I want to remove all of the allies, I mean all of the text, and then update it, and then I refresh it here. But now there is a problem. I cannot find the code that I want to use. There is a solution. You head over to here, find the FA, FA check, copy it and paste it wherever you want it to be. My recommendation is that you paste it inside of the UL code. This is an ordered, this is an unordered list that we created. So you can add how many you want of these and they should work perfectly fine. So if I refresh it, they should show up here. And they do, and it is awesome to use this method. You will lose a little bit more time than using the plugin, which this guy is showing to you, but this plugin is not working and it is horrible, it is buggy, unless it is fixed. And that's it guys for this tutorial. Like and share and subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorials, and I will be seeing you guys the next time.